How to do y'all tables here? Uh, so we have we have an update on the carrion golem build. Um, <clears throat> not very much has changed. Um, really, the only thing that's changed is we pretty much just upgraded our gear, uh, upgraded our gems, and just kind of rounded out the build to its to its finality. Um, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a quick overview. Um, we finally crafted a decent helmet i've been trying to craft a level three bone with support minion max life and a resist and max life <clears throat> but it's been extremely difficult uh and unfortunately i haven't been able to do it uh, we did get our helm enchant which is super nice uh, we upgraded our shield i think this was about an uh an ex and a half and we just do some spell suppression on it. We just alt, alt spammed it. No big deal. It could, it could be considerably better. There's no doubt about that. Uh, just a statted unset ring, <clears throat> a statted double chaos amethyst, uh, which actually helps us out a ton because now we don't we don't actually we don't actually need our amethyst flask anymore because we're running pretty much uh, about 54 percent chaos which should be fine for any of the content that you're doing if you really want to max it out just put an amethyst flask in i'm running uh Rumi's, uh basalt with uh, with extra armor <clears throat> um a phasing with ignite immune and just a regular old ass quicksilver uh so and then we got finally got a new six link with more chaos res, spell suppression, <clears throat> max life, and uh, maximum life is energy shield. So we're sitting at about 45. I You could replace this mod with life and it put us at almost 48. So, you know, our effective health pool is is pretty decent. Uh, kind of throw away Stygian Vise with a pretty nutty Ghastly Eye Jewel, <clears throat> which I'm, I crafted that last night. Um, so super happy about that. <clears throat> and then our boots. Uh, this was, I believe this was a ROG craft, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and this one, we got really lucky on this one. Uh, open prefix, so we're freeze immune, chill immune, and it's uh, it's feeling good. Uh, and then uh, just a regular little wand. This was about eight exalts. This whole setup, by the way, this is about 65 exalts, give or take. Um, <clears throat> probably, I would probably say about six, 60 to 65 exalts. And then we finally got our Ashes of the Stars to finish out the build. Um, divined it, 30% qual, 16% mana reservation. Uh, if you wanted to, you could probably do Defiance Banner and another Unset Ring. Um, but crafting one that's double statted with Chaos is going to be kind of a tall order. Uh, but you could get lucky, <clears throat> and we do have enough mana uh, reservation available to us to where we could run the de um, defiance banner. Um, but it's up to you. I'm just gonna leave the build just pretty much as as it is. Uh, with Rumi's up, we are 47, 41 attack and spell block respectively. We are. I know it says 99. We're actually at 100. Um, <clears throat> 100 percent chance to uh, suppress spells. So that's pretty sweet. Almost a thousand, or excuse me, yeah, almost a thousand life regen per second. And with both our basalt, uh, excuse me, both our basalt and our roomies, we are at officially 90% physical damage reduction. <clears throat> so we are considerably tanky. Uh, I'm running like four scarab, like full grand design. <clears throat> right tons and tons of pack size like juiced out harbingers um <clears throat> my minions do get low uh but they very rarely die and that and my my specters and my anime guardian <clears throat> haven't died um and so if you can get um a helmet with a uh, minion minion life support uh that would really go like uh, it would go a really long way uh, so let's look at the POB real quick. This is, this is going to be a fairly short video. This is purely just an update video. <clears throat> um, so here's the POB. Um, 
this is kind of the testing that I've been going through. Um, and so, oh, and also, by the way, <clears throat> we got level 27 carrying golem, awakened minion damage, uh, increased crit, awakened melee for the intimidate, awakened brutality for the crush, and divergent multi. You could spend, theoretically, you could spend another 15, like 10 to 15 exalts and get awakened multi strike. Uh, and it wouldn't increase your damage quite a bit, probably by like a mil <clears throat> conservatively. Uh, but I, I don't know. A divergent multi strike is so much cheaper and it's still a really good option. Uh, I mean, if you really want a big max, you certainly can. Uh, but you know, that that's up to you guys. <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, uh, whatever is in here, this is, you know, you know, parentheses current. This is all up to date. I did this. I did all this last night, right? Um, so <clears throat> we're looking at about 8.5 million uh, boss TPS, probably around 6.5 to 7 million, um, probably map DPS, I would say. Uh, and that's just because, you know, like we're, we're not throwing around Assassin's Mark unless it's on like a really tanky rare or um, <clears throat> a rogue exile or something like that. So. Yeah, this is the build set up. The build's ready to go. The only difference between the mid-budget and the in-game budget is this necklace. That's it. This it is the only difference. This is 6.7 million with this with this necklace, which is just a run-of-the-mill necklace with just a bunch of attributes, right? Which you'll be able to pick up on your rings just like I did. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, just... <laughs> You know, just changing to the Ashes of the Stars, we're going from 6.7 to 8.5. So almost a $2 million, uh, $2 million DPS upgrade, right? So, you know, it, it is a very, it's a massive upgrade. And at least for this league, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Um, I'm fully thinking that there's going to be massive changes next league. Um, so <clears throat> that's the only difference between the mid and the end game setup that we have going right now. Um, the mid game setup probably is probably going to cost you about 15 exalts, I would say somewhere around there. It just a really, it all depends on the prices to be honest. Um, <clears throat> some warnings about the build cannot like map map mods where like you can't regen are tough. Uh, map mods where you cannot regen period are a no go. I don't run those, um, <clears throat> extra projectile builds, extra projectile builds or uh, excuse me mods i don't run those um it's brutal and it you're just gonna get one shot and it, it's just it's really annoying even with 90 percent fizz reduction we don't quite have enough health right so and then obviously phys physical reflect those are the three mods that i would tell you to be very weary of <laughs> now alternatively you could um dip on bone barrier and go for mistress of sacrifice and um, just dump your flesh offering, which is, where's my flesh offering? Dump your flesh offering. You're going to lose about 1.4 million DPS, but you'll still be at a very respectable 7 mil. <clears throat> and then put in the, uh, the, the block offering, which is bone offering. <clears throat> and now that... Uh, now that your offerings affect you because you took Mistress of Sacrifice, you will be essentially max natural block and spell block, which will make you a ton more tanky. I just like to be a little bit more damage oriented. Some people like to be a little bit more defense oriented. Either way, it's up to you. It's still going to be a fuckload of damage, just period, and you're going to be fine. <clears throat> uh, we killed Maven. We've killed Sirius. Um, any conquerors on the table for you, Uber Elder, Shaper, all that good stuff. The only thing that this is, I'm not confident in this doing is the aspirational Uber Cyrus or, uh, you know, any of the big, big Uber, Uber bosses, uh, mainly because I just haven't tested them, but I know this is good up to Maven. Um, <clears throat> uh, it'll pretty much do any tier 16 farm you want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, the builds just... It's just incredible. I've just, I've loved every second of it. So 
it's done. We're going to move on to our next project, most likely cast on crit situation. And yeah, it's done. And you know, you, you're only level, we're, we're only level 91. I mean, there's still, you can still pick up more block and, and uh, any kind of extra life that you would like to get. You could come down here and get reduced damage from crits with more armor and energy shield. You can come up here and get more damage. I mean, the, the options are endless for you guys. <clears throat> so um, if you guys like this content, you like these builds, um, do me a favor, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a ton. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry, this kind of ran on. I kind of started to ramble. Yeah, that's it. Y'all be good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys being here. Y'all be good. Take care of yourselves, all right?